So listen, you've been following the podcast, and I, I appreciate you very much for being being a supporter. But you've been noticing of the super ego conversation that I have with a majority of these drivers that comes through and share their experience man but here you let me know in the background that you've been like recovering trucks and trailers left and right bro left and right yeah, man yeah. I, 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 I i see i see controversial company super eagle making money man but they they must be losing a lot of money they they paying you to go and recover these trucks and trailers as well as they losing out on whatever's load that's left on the truck man what's what's going on they're not paying these people i, I know some people you know recently shoot they taking them damn trucks they're not they're not bringing the trucks back everybody that's talking about bringing it back i'm gonna just drop it off super ego gonna put something on your deck regardless if you bring it back or not just for the fact that you left so the guys and, you know, people I done ran across and I know, they didn't simply snatch trackers off and took them. They say they robbed me, I'm going to rob them. And they don't never do nothing about it. And, you know, it's pretty much plain and simple. If they're not going to get the law involved, then apparently they know they're doing something that they ain't got no business. So, yeah, they definitely losing a lot. They losing a lot. They got all these new uh, LLCs, E7 Logistics and all that crap shit. They can't hide. They're trying to hide from their, their damn lawsuit. But the more LLCs they build, and I believe the feds eventually they gonna kick it in because you know you can't do it but for so long. But yeah. This is all a message to your friends. Stay away from Port Newark. Don't even drive out to Jersey. The so this one particular trailer where, where you at right now that you about to pick up, but you're not able to pick it up because the guy is stripping it out. What's going on with that? He, he said they owe the money. He said they ain't getting it back. He said they ain't not getting it back. He ain't the first one I done ran across. There's plenty of them. He said, they not getting it back. He said, I'm about to get me at least 20 grand off this. I said, hey, do your thing. I ain't the police. I ain't the feds. I'm just here to recover it. All I can tell them is, hey, the truck ain't there. That's it. They got to figure that out. I done had to tell them that a few times, you know, and the people would say, hey, I ain't giving it back. I'm taking it. They taking their truck. How is that possible, man? Like, these can't be Yo, drivers this, that's, this. That's, that's been there with the company for for a while these got to be drivers that's like coming into the company and not getting paid within a couple of weeks right. of of them yeah, supposed yeah. to be getting paid and then they decide to drop the truck off or the the lead the truck and then next thing they get into their feelings and they take the truck how can they do that man they, they ain't that grand ain't that's grand theft ain't it yeah, but if the company ain't reporting to law enforcement, then that raises a light bulb. That's like you coming to steal something from me or I got you working for me and you take off with it. And I haven't been paying you and been doing a lot of illegal shit. I can't call the cops. If I do, I'm going to just get an investigation started on myself. So that's what's going on because this truck's like a brand new freight line. It's, like, it's got to be a 2020, maybe 2019 or something freight line of Cascadia. So, yeah. They definitely, they, trust me, ego know they, they in the fix. That's why they're not calling the police. They, they chase down the driver. They try to threaten the driver like they did that girl on your show before. Uh, they, you know, they call him and call him. She dumped the truck off somewhere, and they just left it alone. They threaten you. Oh, we call the police. They never call the police. Nobody's never going to come and get that truck. They're not going to find it, and they know it. They, they just write it off. I believe it's a tax write-off. That's how they do it. Bro, how are they funding these trucks, dog? If these drivers is taking their trucks and not returning them and, and stripping them out, how how are they funding these new trucks, bro? Like, what's what's up with they that, gotta, man? It's, it's, it's definitely a scam. Something going on because some of these trucks come from other companies that's owned by the Russians. They got a lot of them. If you look up the MC numbers, they based out of Ohio, Indiana, and Chicago. So they all in cahoots. Because I've seen some of the paperwork with the loads and stuff. It, it's different names under the load. It's not even booked under Floyd or Ego or Jordan or Windy City. So they they doing some real shifty stuff. They doing some shifty stuff. That's why they're not getting the law enforcement involved. Because people could just come over there like, for example, there's a guy that works there. I ain't going to mention his name. He's a fleet manager. He showed me on the computer screen one day. They got two trucks in Mexico. They had a couple of them over there in Africa. One was in Jamaica. And they can't go get them. 
they can't even pay nobody to go get them. So if you're getting vehicles shipped over or crossing the border with these vehicles and the company ain't doing nothing about it, law enforcement ain't getting involved, that raises a flag. Africa? Trailers missing. Yeah. Afri- yeah, they had, a, Jamaica? they had a couple of them in Africa. Jamaica, and there's a couple of them over there in Mexico. Yep. I, I, I can definitely... see... I can see Mexico. You could probably just drive over the border in Mexico. Right. Make but, some fake documents and go right across the border. Yeah, but we we looking at Jamaica. So we they 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 actually got trucks shipped over to Jamaica. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's that's that that what blew my mind when I saw that computer screen. I said, God How how said, much damn. do you how much do you think them drivers got for those for those trucks to be shipped over to Jamaica? In Africa. And since Johnny Sack ain't gonna step up, guess what? It's coming out of your race. You know, I'm, I'm starting to feel a little intimidated. As well you should, my friend. Hoo-hoo! Spelly brand new trucks, man. You probably getting down there hundred thousand dollars over there, maybe, because yeah, them brand new American trucks. So I'm pretty sure that the, you know the money they getting from them. They said, well, you know what? They stole from me. I just make that money back. And I get, I take the truck, and my people will do something with it, and that's that's what it boils down to. If you know somebody that get down, that can strip, that a, a mechanic or some or a driver that owns some trucks, if you need some parts, because even with the internationals, if you can, you can get an international across the border. You know they're manufactured in Mexico. If you look at the VIN numbers, so you can easily get a VIN number from over there, a couple of hundred bucks to get your VIN number. It's, it's that serious. <laughs> I asked Jane Doe uh, this question. If what what is going on, man? They Super Ego is still making money hand over foot. Why they can't just treat their drivers the way the drivers wanted want to be treated? Well, they making money, man. They're making money, but they're losing more money. And my other question is this, bro. My other question mm-hmm. is this, man. Now that it's been it, it's been a couple of years now. It's it's not like the trucking community don't know nothing about super ego there is no way that you can now come to me and be like oh well i ain't know nothing about this company i never heard of this company that's why i went to that company no 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 (laughs) two two years three years three years uh drivers been complaining about super ego there's groups about super ego there's there's Google reviews about Super Ego. Super Ego, no, no disrespect to Super Ego because you, you also drive. You still I do with business. Yeah, I you still do business with them. Recover some of this shit. No disrespect to them, but Super Ego is a trash ass company, bro. And there ain't no way. Yeah. It ain't no way possible that these new drivers don't know this. Why? I get people in my comment session asking the very same question. Why are drivers going over to Super Ego knowing what Super Ego is about? Are they just going over there? Are they just going over there so they can take advantage of Super Ego? Like snatch one of their trucks up and, 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 and ship it across the way and, and, and try to recover their money even though they know that they're not going to make no money? Like, what's up, man? Brand new. Surround sound, HD TV compatible. What? It's possible. I think a lot of them too. That you know, the ones that I run across, some of them they driving record messed up. Uh, some of them, you know, SAP program, so they can't. They kind of limited. And even some of the companies that take SAP, some of these guys' records so messed up, don't nobody want to touch them. But if ego would touch you, you know, that should tell you something. It's like, well, hey, my record's just bad, and nobody will mess with me, but this company will. There's a, scam, there's a scam, there's a catch. It's like, yeah, they're going to get their money out of you. They're going to rob you. They know they're going to make money off. And a lot of them that do their research, I think, feel like because they let people outlaw and run the way they want to run, they think that they could come over here and make a bunch of money and then haul ass when that ain't the case. You know what I mean? They, they come over here and run like a dog. And the next thing you know, it's like, yo, I'm not making no money. Well, you got to know who you're dealing with. You're basically dealing with the Russian mafia. Because they from Serbia, you know, and all their money and their little benefits and their proceeds, they, it's going to other companies. They're funding. They're like the umbrella. They, they're like the they're like the Carleones or something like a big mob family. They're funding, you know, a whole other family like a Costa Nusha. They they the umbrella. And there's, there's a bunch of little companies that deal with them. 
because I'm an own operator and I done ran across plenty of them that, you know, own their own trucks, they lease their trailers, and we be laughing about the same thing. It's like, bro, they really robbing these dudes coming over here leasing these trucks, man. Like, what the hell? Why these dudes just don't go buy their own truck and lease one of their trailers? Because their trailer lease is cheap. And you can get paid to recover loads and shit on the side like I be doing. But, yeah, a lot of them just, that's what I think it is, a sap. Driving records messed up, and they feel like they can come over here and make a gang of money. And it's also the facade. Don't don't forget that the facade that yeah. that controversial company Super Eagle put out there. Like you can come over here and be an instant millionaire. They really yeah. they're not saying that in so many words, but they they putting it out there. Like come over here, run with us. You can just look at the ads and how they advertising to to these drivers out here. Plus. Plus, yeah. don't forget, don't don't forget the multiple calls that that their that their so called recruiters are doing. They're even calling up under, I'm I'm going to say false pretenses because I I talked to a few of them already. One guy mm -hmm. named Robert. My name's Robert, and I'm recruiting for this company. You can make sixty cent a Fake mile for company. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then and then when they then when you call them up and start talking to them, they're bait and switch you like how how the one guy did. Oh, okay, well, oh well we already got a guy for the uh for the company position. But can I offer you the lease purchase for eighty eight percent? Like, bro, wait. Hold on. In yep. in the Facebook group, in the Facebook post, you're you're looking for a, a company driver. You you didn't even say the name. You just say I'm looking for a company driver. I'm off in 60 cent a mile. All you got to do is just make your way out to Chicago and yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. I get on the phone with you to, to, to talk to you about it. Next thing I know, oh, well, we got somebody for that position already. But can I offer you the, the lease purchase? We got a lease purchase for 88% and you could be your own boss. Like, bro, I didn't call for that. They don't have no company drivers. Jesus Christ. Mister, you okay in there? Oh, my. Oh, oh. You all right? You run from me, you fucking cocksucker? Where's my fucking money? They full of shit. They don't have no company drivers. I've never heard of a company driver over there. Never heard of a company driver. So that's, that's yeah, they lying off the muscle trying to, like you say, a bait and switch. They, yeah, they, there's no company drivers. Hell, them guys want you to pay for everything. You're paying for everything. You're going to pay for the trailer, the truck. Yeah, well, man, man, that's a mess, man. Well, anonymous, I I don't know. It's it's to the point now that I think drivers just going over to Super Eagle just to get a story. I for the I, controversy. Yeah, just just for the controversy because I there's been a couple of there's been a couple of people that been reaching out to me and they want to come on and share their stories, but I I I haven't an extended interview because the one person reached out to me they was only there for two weeks and i'm like nah and then another wow. person and then another person reached out to me and their their story is basically the same story that everybody been saying so i i kind of backed off on a on a few guests but yeah, the the Jane Doe, yeah, she was an awesome conversation because she brought uh, a little bit of the inner workings to to what was going on at controversial company Super Eagle. So, so yeah, man. Yeah, they definitely go. They definitely eventually, you know, just like I said, it's like a dope dealer. You know, the feds can let you, they let you make all the money you want, do whatever you want, make you feel like you run shit. And eventually, yeah, they gonna close the doors in on. That's why I'm sticking around, because I know I'm going to get me a trail out of the damn deal. I'm definitely going to get me a trail out of the deal somehow, some way. Because everybody that's over there that's leasing their trucks, if they were smart, I mean, I know they don't want to go through the struggle, but they might want to play around for a while with them, because eventually, yeah, they may have that one judge that's going to turn over titles and deeds. That company's door is going to be closed. They've been told twice. Now I'll All right, Anonymous, thanks for stopping back in, checking in with me, man. I really do appreciate it, man. We'll, 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 still, we'll, we'll still keep an eye out for a controversial company, Super Eagle, man. And let's see if, let's see if these new drivers now would do their research and everything before they even make the jump over there, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. We'll see.
All right, I'll holler at you, man. You be easy. Stay safe out there, my guy. Uh, in too deep like Omar. Make me want to track you down and hit the track hawk with the crowbar. I knew we wouldn't go far, like we ran out of ethanol. Now your nosy ass mama want to get involved. When I met you, you was on the couch with the plastic. She need an Emmy. Bitch so dramatic. Now your baggage got me on edge like jagged. Fucking up my homes. Look, Patrick. You swift to jump shift like a chief. Been crying on my line like Therese. But it ain't all you, it's me. Blame it on the things I went through.